Hello, my name is Creative Jake Wayne. Today I want to show you how I am using layer comps in Adobe Photoshop to make full screen video graphic slides. This process is easy and simplifies my workflow better than any other processes I have used. Here are just some of the benefits or reasons I like using layer comps. Alt vectors, smart objects, images, and laid out text are in one document. I don't have links like I do in Adobe InDesign. Naming conventions can be made from inside the document, and it's easy to make edits and export files. I have a multi-layered Photoshop file here. Each folder contains the layers of imagery and text needed for a specific style or layout. I could only have a file organized like this, and it would be pretty good. But I have projects that grow over time on me, and sometimes it is difficult to remember what slides should have what, showing what, blah, blah, blah. When I get that last minute call asking for a single letter edit to one slide, I want an easy way to get in, make the edit, and save it out. Layer comps is the solution for that. Before I get started, notice that I have all of my imagery in this single document. I use smart objects to retain the original pixel sizes for placed images, and I do not link any images to this document. Now, let me show you how to use layer comps for full screen graphics. Starting with the layers palette, I have all of the layers that I want to show for my first screen layout. Open the layer comps palette by going under Windows in the main menu, select layer comps, a palette opens that looks pretty empty right now. Select the document icon at the bottom of the palette to create a new layer comp. I told you that organizing is easy using layer comps. Here is why. I'm going to start naming my comps by using the number of their order to keep the images in sequence, as well as a quick little descriptor of what the screen is or a keyword that can help me to later identify it visually. For this slide, I'm calling it 00 Open Logo Red. Now, if I select the visibility checkbox, I am telling Photoshop to remember what layers are visible and which ones are not. Selecting the position box tells Photoshop where all of the objects are within each layer at this moment. This is great in case, say, the logo gets moved at a later date and I need to match it exactly to how I have it right now. Lastly is the Appearance checkbox. This tells Photoshop that of all the layers that are visible and included in this comp, I want their layer styles to be remembered too. I can leave a comment here too, which is really helpful for those drawn out projects. All right, so let's select OK and notice that the comp with our name is added to the palette. These icons to the right indicate that Photoshop is remembering the visibility position, and appearances too. So, my instructions are to make the same layout, but with a white background. I will turn off the background layer here and select the Create New Layout Comp icon again. I will name the file so I know the difference from the previous comp and keep all of the boxes checked. Say OK and see the second comp in the palette. The icon to the left indicates that we are seeing the current comp. Let's select the first one and voila. Everything that is supposed to be on is on and what is not supposed to be is not. Select the second comp brainlessly and we have it all showing correctly. I have a request here to make the same layout but with the logo without a drop shadow and moved to the right. I will create a new comp, name it, click OK and see that the comp has remembered my changes. Because I have the visibility, position, and appearances checked on my first comp, when I select it, all of the same elements go right back to where I wanted them the first time. I don't need multiple layers to do all this, just one of each. Now, let's export all of these layer comps out to files that can then be used in Adobe Premiere or After Effects or whatever video editing software you need. Go to File, Export, Export Layer Comps to Files. Choose where you want the comps to be saved, and here you can even provide a file name prefix, which is great for projects just like this. We want all of the comps, so keep the selected layer comps only unchecked. 
That will come in useful when edits are needed later. Choose your file format and select the quality and hit OK. Adobe Photoshop will save out each comp automatically for you and notify you when it is complete. Let's check the finder and folder and yep, there they all are, named and ready to send off. I like to have a PDF of all of the images as a reference for my client and vendors. So let's go back to Photoshop and go to File, Export, Export Layer Comps to PDF. We can choose where to save and if we want all or just the comps selected like before. Photoshop will put all of the comps together into one PDF and even offers to make it a slideshow with time advancement and looping. I don't want any of that now, so I will uncheck this and hit OK. There is my PDF, and upon opening it, you will be told that Acrobat wants the PDF in full screen mode. I'm just going to decline that offer, and here we have all of my comps in order because of my naming within Photoshop. Easy squeezy. So I send these out and get back an urgent need to fix just one slide. So let's do that now. We'll go back into Photoshop. I can select the specific layer comp from the layer comp palette, make my changes. But now I need to update the layer comp so that Photoshop doesn't try to keep the previous version. I update the comp by selecting the circle with two arrows, this icon right here. That updates the comp and I know because that newspaper icon appears to the left of the comp in the palette. I'm going to keep this selected and I will go to the export process again. This time I will check mark the selected layer comps only option and hit OK. Photoshop will save over my previous file with the same name and only that one image. Let's check and yep that is updated and I can send this back to the editor. My name is Creative Jake Wayne. I appreciate your time today and hope that you are able to start using layer comps in Adobe Photoshop today for video screens, website layouts, and any other projects that require multiple images for slideshows, videos, print, you name it. Until next time, keep on creating.